Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Wacom Bamboo Pen and Touch with Photoshop to uh, create illustrations or ca cartoons. So one of the things I'd recommend if you're going to start drawing in Photoshop to make cartoons or you know specifically paneled comics is go ahead and set up a template so you don't have to redraw squares all the time. This is a, a template I have if I am going to be using uh, long panels and I have one called short panels and that's the one I'll be using today. One of the uh, great things about this program is you can set everything on layers and you can see here that I've kind of got all my layers separated already and uh, this is a comic I had previously done I figured that'd be an easy way to show you how I go about it so I used my short panels on this one and one of the first things you want to do whenever you start to lay out a comic is put your text in first you don't want to have to redraw or rewrite any of the text because the character is going to be bleeding over the top of it so I always lay out all my text first so that way all that's out of the way and then do all the word balloons and then you can do some of the more fun stuff so once this is all done I try to keep all these layers separate so if I need to erase something or move something I'm not erasing part of a different layer so one of the things that I think is a good idea to do is to start a separate layer and draw all your rough sketches and uh, this is a neat feature that this tablet has that I didn't cover in my last video which is this pen has a neat little button on the top and say you're zoomed in really closely you're zoomed in real close in Photoshop if you hold that button down and draw on the tablet you move the screen around so you're not constantly having to pan left right up and down so you can be zoomed in real real close and just move your way around so this would be a layer that you just kinda lay out where everything's gonna be where you're gonna see all the characters and that would be like the sketch layer now once you get an idea on where everything's gonna be and the general look of things I would create a new layer above it and then use the brush tool and start doing your your detailed inks so you would go through and you know make all your little characters out and draw everything I've already made a layer with all my detailed lines and once you get all that stuff done just go ahead and turn off the sketch layer so then everything looks all clean and crisp so then you know where everything's going to be so coloring would be the next part one of the most important things about coloring in Photoshop that I've found that works for me is to keep my color layer almost at the bottom of my palette that way I don't color over the top of existing lines and as long as it's below there it's not going to uh, bleed into anything like say I'll get some red here and I'll show you what I mean make the brush real big as long as you're underneath that other layer it's not going to cover it up so say you just want to fill in stuff with the paint bucket select the paint bucket tool and you can select all layers this way if all layers isn't selected you'll see what happens it fills in everything but if you select the all layers button it will treat the image like it's uh, on the layer you're painting on so this way I can go ahead and fill in all these areas and it's on a completely different layer than my outlines so if I want to go in and darken things like draw shadows there you can do that without having to worry about covering up your black lines so here's my color palette all laid out and you have a finished comic thanks for watching guys bye